So I've done burn surgery, done a lot of nipple grafting and done a lot of skin graft. When you put on a skin graft, this is the where we're going to put it on. So you could see the little this little blood coming in, it's going to what's going to keep this alive until there's vessels and stuff that grows into it. So in order for it not to elevate and get stuck down, literally you have to make little holes in the graft. Usually we mesh it when it's bigger, but with something like that, we just make little uh, stabs in it. So if any fluid does build up underneath the graft, it'll be able to get out so the graft can stick down to the tissue. Okay, so the next step was that we put on the nipple graft. We put on a couple of different sutures. One suture is a baseball suture that'll stay on for longer and it'll fall off for itself. Then the other suture we put on is we're going to put some pressure so that this is going to stick down to it. We're going to use some wet cotton balls and then tie it so it's going to be like a pressure suture on it. You'll see it in just a second. Stay tuned. So we lay down the zero form. It First, it has Vaseline and has some antibiotic uh, tendencies. Then we're going to put some cotton balls, wet cotton balls here to weigh it down. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this all up and we're going to use the sutures to tie this down so it stays firm and the gra graft adheres to the skin. So this is what we call a bolster. So basically a bolster puts pressure on the skin graft to allow the neogenesis, neovascularization and everything happen for the blood flow to get to the grafted region. So that's what we have, it's called the bolster. It looks like a little flower, but we did it, it's done.